Hello yogis and welcome to my channel, I'm Oksana and today we're building core strength with some intermediate moves. So let's grab the mat and start. Please consult your doctor and make sure that the practice is suitable for you. Take care and enjoy. We're going to start our practice with a comfortable sitting position. Take a big inhale, reaching arms up, and exhale, bring your palms to the heart. Relax your hands over the knees, close your eyes for a moment. Sitting nice and tall. Take a moment and notice how you're feeling today. Connect with the space around you, with the space underneath you, and allow yourself to arrive to your present moment. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, let's bring the palms together over the heart. Start rubbing the hands, and then cover your eyes, blink and open. As you inhale, reaching the arms up, Exhale, side stretch, up and over to your right. Right palm down, left arm reaching over the head. Couple of circles through the left arm, warming up the shoulder. And then reverse. And get back to the center. Take one more inhale and exhale, reach up and over to your left trying to open up through the right shoulder, gazing up to the ceiling. Go ahead with the arm circle. And then reverse. Inhale back up. And let's take a spinal twist to your right. Left palm over the right knee and right palm behind your lower back. Sitting nice and tall. Back to the center and then switch. Inhale, reaching up through the ten fingers. Exhale, forward bend. Relax your head and neck. Keep your belly soft. Now reach up and over to your right. Rest your forehead over the right knee. Moving through the center, reach to your left. And get back to the center. Roll up to the sitting. Continue with the neck stretch, taking some hard neck circles. And then reverse. Let's interlace our fingers, bring it behind the head. Right elbow down to your right, left elbow down to your left. And continue like this. Warming up the oblique muscles and central core. Make sure that your hips are grounded and you're sitting nice and even. Inhaling through the center, exhaling, deepening through the elbow. Find your center and start twisting your spine right and left. Keep your core engaged. Spine is long. As you inhale, lift through the heart, gaze up. Exhale, elbows in, forward bend. As you inhale again, open up. Exhale, squeeze in. Well done, guys. Let's bring the fingertips behind the hips. One more gentle back bend, reaching up through the heart. Drop your chin down to the chest. And release. We're ready to come up to the tabletop position. 
dipping the wrist underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. As you inhaling arching, as you exhaling chin tuck back stretch, traditional cat and cow. Fully inhaling as you are arching and completely exhaling once you're rounding. And continue the practice with a spinal balance, reaching through the right arm and left leg, releasing, switching left arm, right leg, releasing, and continue alternating lifts. And try to maintain your hips in one level, parallel to the floor. Keep your neck as long as your spine. And last one. We're gonna catch that left ankle with the right hand and extend it out. Again, catch and extend it out. Round your spine, catch and open. Bring your focus to the core, releasing your right palm, stepping the left foot forward in between the hands. Coming into the low lunge, reaching up through the fingertips. As you exhale, twist it low lunge, arms in one line with your shoulders, gaze over the left shoulder. Now releasing the left palm down, reaching up through the right hand. Stay low with your hips. Right palm down to the mat, back leg straight, reaching up through the left arm, spinal twist. Let's bring the right foot over the left, plank. Both hands on the mat, through the Chaturanga Dandasana, flowing out to the upward dog, and take a downward dog. We're gonna take with you active walk here by bending knees one by one. Meanwhile, align your hands with the shoulder distance apart, keeping fingers wide and open. Now as you inhale, move forward into the high plank, exhale back to the downward dog. Inhale plank, downward dog. And again plank, downward dog. Let's take a plank position. And reaching forward through the right arm, get some balance, squeeze your core even more. Release your right palm down, drop your knees, and take a child pose to relax. Keep your knees nice and wide, relax through the shoulders, head and neck. Let's get back to the tabletop position, switching to the left arm and right leg, reach out. And then catching the ankle with the left hand. As you inhaling, opening, and exhaling, squeezing. Releasing the left palm down, stepping the right foot forward in between the hands into the low lunge, reaching up through the fingertips. Make sure that your right knee ankle over each other. Open up to the twisted low lunge, gazing over the right shoulder. Releasing the right palm to the left leg, reaching up through the left arm, gentle back bend. Send your left palm down to the mat, bring the back leg straight and reach up through the right arm. Twisted lunge. Right foot over the left, side plank. Keep lifting the hips, squeezing the glutes. And as you exhale, chaturanga, right palm down. Upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank, exhale, downward dog, plank, downward dog. Squeeze your core, keep your core active. And let's take a plank position. Left arm reaching forward, keep your shoulders and hips in one line. 
One more chaturanga, upward dog and child pose to reset. Breathe out any tension, normalize your breath. And let's get back to the work. Coming to the tabletop and dropping the elbows down into the forearm plank. Shoulders, elbows over each other. Maybe rocking forward, backward. Keeping the feet together, clasp your fingers, walk your feet forward into the dolphin pose. Get ready for the dolphin push-ups. As you inhale, chin over the big thumb and bring it back. You can make it a bit slower. Try to make it 5-10 repetitions. Take a downward dog and lift your right leg up. Holding. Exhale, knee to the chest. One two, three, four, and five. Releasing, back to the dolphin pose, switching to the left leg. Let's go for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Dolphin pose, dropping the knees down, and let's take a rest in the child pose. We have with you hard work, but compensated by nice child pose. So you have your time to recover and reset. Getting back to the tabletop, let's take a moment and stretch our wrist. Fingers facing into the knees and start rocking back, forward. Or just leaning back and holding. All ten fingers press firmly into the mat. Releasing your palms. Walk your hands inch forward, downward dog. Take one big inhale. And as you exhale, walk your hands toward to the feet. As you inhale, take a halfway. Exhale, forward back. As you inhale, rise up and shine, mountain. Exhale, bring your palms to the heart. One more big inhale, reaching, maybe adding back bend. And as you exhale, forward bend, nose to the knees. Inhale, look forward, halfway. Exhale, inch, warm, walking forward. Walk back, forward bend. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, walk forward, walk back, forward bend, halfway, walk forward, exhale, walk back, inhale, halfway, exhale, walk forward. We have with you 10 walks, so stay strong, keep your core active, you can always pause my video Finish your 10 and then get back to the practice. Keep moving guys, inhale halfway, exhale walk forward until you wrist shoulders over each other and walk back, forward bend, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Well done, guys. As you inhale, rise up. As you exhale, bring your palms to the heart. Open the feet wider, keep your toes out. And let's drop the hips down into Malasana Yogic Squat. Pressing into the palms, widening through the knees, lengthening through the spine. Let's give more stretch to our wrist, upside down your both palms and just load a little bit your palms by lifting the heels of the ground 
breathing through the tension and then releasing palms over the mat let's walk forward into the downward dog through the downward dog we're going to take a hanging tabletop by lowering the knees inch away from the mat let's go for the balance extending the left leg out right arm forward holding breathing staying nice and strong let's try to switch take as much time as you need look at one spot which is not moving stay strong and release staying in hanging tabletop breathing exhale downward dog and again table exhale downward dog table exhale press your hips up hanging and pressing And let's get ready for the knee taps. Tapping the knee with opposite hand. For three, for four, for five, continue five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, guys. Releasing the knees down. Interlace your fingers. Keep your elbows underneath the shoulders. Get ready for the headstand. Keep your legs straight, move closer to your face, and then one by one extending the legs up. Engage all the body, holding, breathing. Releasing both legs down, and take a child pose for a moment to normalize your blood circulation. Take a big inhale and exhale, let it all go, restart, and slowly start rolling up into the hero pose. I hope guys you are doing great. Let's continue with the downward dog. In downward dog, right leg up, exhale right knee into the right elbow, plank, back up, exhale to the left elbow cross, back up, Knee to the chest, 10 knee drops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, bring it up, one leg downward dog, and step it forward in between the hands, coming into the crescent lunge. As you exhale, halfway down. Bring the fingers by your ears, standing, crunches up and exhale down, up and exhale down. You can always drop your back knee down into the mat and go easy on your legs today, focusing more on the core. Get back to the center, spread your arms to the side, take a reverse twist, gazing over the right shoulder. Slide your right hand down over the back leg and reach through the left arm. Get ready for the reverse. Ardha Chandrasana left, palm down, right arm up, pick up your back leg and try to align your shoulders in one line with your arms. As you exhale, release feet and legs, hands and head to the knees. Let's transition into the chair, lowering down into the hips, Navasana, boat pose, holding, keeping the knees bent, we're going to go for the low boat and up to the high boat for 10. Make sure that your chest is up, gaze forward. If it's too hard, you can always bring the fingers just by your hips and moving through the leg. Well done, guys. Let's catch our big toes with two second fingers and extend the both legs straight up. Make sure that there is space behind you. We're going to roll back into the plow, tapping the toes behind the head. Mm -hmm. 
Breathe freely. Relax through the belly. Relax through the head and back of the neck. You can stay as long as you want. And then once you're ready, roll back up into the boat pose. Now one more rock back up to the chair. Nice guys. As you exhale, releasing into the forward bend, nose to the knees. Inhale through the halfway. Exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Upward dog, lift and open. Exhale, press your hips up, chest down, downward dog. We have with you left leg, so let's get ready. Inhaling, lifting through the left leg. Exhaling, knee to the left elbow. Back up, cross to your right elbow. Back up, knee to the chest, squeeze your core, knee taps 10 times. That's great work for your shoulders and arms as well. Keep pulling the navel into your spine, stay very active. Back up and then step it forward into the high lounge, reaching up through the fingertips. Hinge forward, halfway. And then bring your fingers by your ears, elbows open, standing crunches. Lifting, opening, exhaling, folding down. Beautiful, guys. Well done. So let's move forward into the twisted high lounge. Reaching through the left arm back. Reverse. Reaching through the left arm up to the sky. And let's get ready for the reverse Ardha Chandrasana. Right palm down. Pick up your back leg. Opening through the chest. And reaching through the left arm. Release your right leg down. And take a forward bend. Inhale halfway. Exhale, toes squat, bend your knees, bring your glutes to the heels, reach up through the fingertips. Stay here or bring your palms to the heart and take one more twist here, right elbow outside of the left knee. Back up and then switch, twisting over to your right. Inhale, reach, and exhale, start lowering your glutes down into the boat. Rock back, and again, up. <laughs> That's not easy. Again, rock back, and up. Try to hold the balance. Try not to touch the mat. Stay focused. Again, up, and back down. Last one, extend your both legs straight up. You can use a strap, you can use your hands to support. And then release your back down. Well done, guys. Pull the knees into the chest. Maybe swinging side to side, giving some lower back massage. Releasing the both feet down, palms by your hips, bridge pose. Interlacing the fingers behind your back, shifting the weight through the shoulders. That's great stretch for the core and the lower back release. Unlock your hands, release your hips and spine back to the mat. We're going to cross our arms as an eagle and same with the legs. Eagle crunches, extend it out and then squeeze elbows to the knee. Go for 10, 9, and 8. Inhale, exhale completely 7, and 6, 
and five halfway done five more keep going guys try to remember your cross because we're gonna do it one more time switching that cross legs and cross arms position last round try to hold for a bit and release unlock one more squeeze knees to the chest guys let's get ready and switch switching the eagle arms switching the eagle legs and let's go extend and squeeze in again extend and squeeze and three exhale and four exhale five you have five more to go keep moving and last one hold squeeze everything in and as you exhale very slowly start releasing open your arms to the side and just swing your both knees to the right gentle spinal twist and then to your left and one more time to your right and to your left we have with you one more mat work bringing the right foot over the left knee like a figure four fingers by your ears we're gonna bring the left elbow to the right knee releasing back and then pulling the knees into the chest elbow knee pull up go for ten make sure that your elbows open use your core to lift working both upper core and lower one make sure that you're breathing you don't want to stay bloated after your practice inhale cross elbow knee and then exhale pull-ups well done guys i hope you done your turn now catch your left knee and pull the knee into the chest glute stretch and same time time to relax extending the left leg i want you to bring your big thumb underneath your hips we're gonna go a little bit deeper work through the lower core okay so just make sure that you're good enough to start so lowering that left leg down and up go for 10 if it's hard for you to keep your left leg straight you can bend the left knee just go a little bit easy way you should feel definitely burning working and for sure sweating just keep moving guys Bravo, you done tan. Let's catch our calf muscle. Or if you have a yogic strap, go ahead, catch and pull the again knee to the chest. Hamstring stretch, glute stretch. And now we have with your second leg. I know it's hard, but you can do that for sure. Ready? So right elbow, left knee, cross, and then pull up. Again, elbows open. Squeeze up. You're still breathing guys, elbow knee, press up. We're almost there. I believe you have a last one. Good, once you're down, let's catch the right knee and pull that knee into the chest enjoying the stretch enjoying the moment of rest that was short let's move on fingers underneath the hips leg lifts for 10 for 9 and 8 7 6 
five go for five more well done guys go for the hamstring stretch catching the calf muscle pulling that knee into the chest good releasing one more deep squeeze by pulling the nose to the knee and then rocking up up to the sitting crossing the legs and we have with your next set next sequence starting with a sphinx pose releasing the lower back elbows shoulders over each other chest throat is open so here we're gonna just take some neck circles if it feels good maybe pressing into the palms lifting through the chest and then releasing the elbows down we have is your combination of two forearm plank and sphinx toes under press up plank and lower back down into the sphinx plank and then swings let's combine with your breath inhale sphinx exhale core plank go for 10 keep moving guys keep moving burning working I believe you're finishing last one let's take a moment in the sphinx pose with the arms straight stretching the core dropping the elbows palms by your ribcage upward dog as you inhale and downward dog exhale take a deep breath out through the mouth let it all go you did a great job From the downward dog reach forward one leg plank and reach to the left leg downward dog again plank tap the fingers into the opposite leg let's try to make 10 repetitions Well done guys, open up to your right side plank. Option, you can lift your right leg into the star plank. And then stepping the right foot forward to the front of the mat, up to the high lunge position. Warrior two, spread the arms in one line with the shoulders. As you inhale, take reverse. As you exhale, windmill your arms down and bring the left palm inside. Sweep your back foot down, reaching through the right arm back. Now drop your hips down completely and catch your left foot with the right two second fingers. Extend the leg out. Go for the balance, arm balance, lifting the hips up, using the core strength, holding. And then extend your left leg back, plank position. One vinyasa, upward dog, inhale. And then downward dog, exhale. Are you ready for the second side? So let's go one arm plank, left arm reaching forward and tapping the right ankle with the left hand. One arm plank, downward dog, tapping the ankle. Try to go for 10. Keep thinking about your core. Keep your core active, as active as your breath. And then open up to the side plank, to your left, maybe star plank. And then stepping the left foot forward to the front, runner's lunge, and then sweep your arms up, high lunge. As you exhale, warrior two. Reversing warrior. 
and then all the way down right palm down to the mat spin your back foot down drop the hips a bit lower and reach through the left fingers drop the hips completely we're gonna catch that big toe two second fingers extend the leg straight and then press up to the arm balance keep trying guys with the practice it all happened stepping the right foot back plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog and finally well deserved child pose and relax I want you to really normalize your breath take it as slow as you can inhale and super slow exhale again slow inhale and slow exhale and pressing up to the palms let's meet in the downward dog from the downward dog we're gonna jump forward just behind the wrist get ready for the crow pose bring the knees into the armpits triceps shift your weight forward maybe one foot up maybe both maybe crossing the feet over each other holding as long as you can jumping or stepping back plank chaturanga upward dog exhale downward dog we have a second trial with you get ready jump forward knees to the triceps gaze forward back straight shift your weight forward Maybe toes can be on the mat, maybe lifting both feet. And stepping or jumping through the chaturanga, upward dog. And exhale, child pose, relax. Keep your palms facing up, relax your wrist. Get back to your steady breath. All right, guys, we're almost done. We're gonna lay down to the stomach and work on the lower back and some back bends. Catching both feet, flexing the feet, pressing the feet back, lifting through the heart. Your knees grounded. Exhale, release your chest. Now point your toes and our knees up, chest grounded. release your knees now full rise up lifting through the chest knees reaching up through the crown of the head and tippy toes well done guys release legs are straight let's bring the fingers by the ears take a slow inhale exhale let it all go next inhale lift up through the upper body exhale lower We'll go for 10. Try to relax your feet. Bring attention to the lower back. Use the lower back muscles to lift and open. And finishing with the last one and reaching the arms back, lifting both legs up. Locust pose. Palms by your ribcage, press up to the knees, cross your legs, and let's take a sitting position. Keeping the feet with the hip distance apart, knees are bent, catch your knees from inside as you inhale, arch, as you exhale, round chin to the chest. Just two, three more repetitions here. Compensating the lower back after all back bends. Now collect your feet and knees together, reach up through the both arms, exhale, twist right elbow outside of the left knee, looking over the left shoulder behind. Inhale up, exhale, switch.
inhale reach and exhale vertebra in the time lower your back down knees to the chest happy baby pose catching the big toes widening the feet keeping the knees ankle over each other relaxing through the shoulders And collect your feet together, interlace your fingers, and press your knees away from the shoulders, butterfly. Now release your feet down, feet with the hip distance apart. We're going to take a bridge pose one more time, and you can stay here by reaching fingers to your ankles, heels. Second option, palms by your ears, elbows up. Coming up to the crown of the head, maybe staying here, or pressing into the palms and coming to the full wheel. Staying as long as it feels good for you. You can play around by lifting the heels of the ground, and pressing the chest to the end of the mat, relaxing through the head, and slowly you can release back to the mat one more squeeze spreading the arms to the side just send your knees to the right into the spinal twist back to the center and then switch back to the center and let's keep our knees together feet wide apart that's a very good position for your lower back release. And finally, we reach our final station, Shavasana time. So close your eyes, make yourself comfortable, relax through the shoulders, head and neck, relax through the lower back. Choose your comfortable breath. Start softening your facial muscles, muscles around your eyes forehead, eyebrows, relax your chin, jaw and cheeks, stay connected with your breath, connect with your core abdominal muscles, connect with your lower back, middle, upper, and as you exhale, let it all go, any physical tension, sending gratitude to the powerhouse, to the core, to each muscle to work today. And you can stay as long as you want, resting, otherwise slowly turning to your left side. Just moment here, no hurries, no worries. Once you feel that you're ready, press up to the sitting position. Sitting nice and tall, inhaling through the gentle smile, exhaling palms to the heart. Send the gratitude to your breath to support you, to be with you. One more grateful inhale, palms to the heart. Send the gratitude to the energy sending you from the universe today for your practice. And one more big inhale, and I'm sending to you gratitude. Thank you for joining my practice. I hope you enjoyed, had lots of fun, and work out sweat. Namaste everyone, have a beautiful day, bye bye.